Yeah, hi, I'm Alex and I'm going to talk about temporal action detection using a statistical language model. So, actually what is the task? It's fairly simple. We are given a video and we need to find the locations where actions occur and we also need to find labels for all of these actions. So the most existing approaches basically use sliding windows and then some somehow apply some greedy optimization to obtain a segmentation. And I will now propose a method where we consider all possible segments and globally optimize the model in the end. So assume we are given the video X with T frames. The first thing we need to find is, of course, the number of action instances that occurs in the video. So for example, for here we have background, eating, again background, and drinking. And also we need the class labels as well as the ending positions of all the segments. So with these three information, the complete segmentation is fully defined in the end. So let's put this in a probabilistic context. So actually, we want to model the probability that these class labels and the segment end times really occur given our video. So we maximize over all these three quantities. And if we have a look at this probability, we can easily factorize it into three different parts. So we end up with a model that consists out of these three parts where we now will have a look at. First one is the language model. So it's basically giving context about the actions that are occurring. So we just look at um, the preceding actions to hypothesize how likely a new action is. For example, if we hypothesize background and take golf club, then golf swing will be very likely, but eating will probably be quite unlikely. So this can easily be modeled just with an amgram. The length model is, well, basically to model different length and different classes. So here we just consider the difference to the preceding segment end. So actually um, what we can model with this is basically an action like, eat, like eating will be on average longer and undergoing more variations than an action like golf swing. So we need to incorporate this in our model which we do here. And finally there is the main part the action model. So actually from classical action recognition we have some well-studied models that usually have a posterior form like P of C given the video. And in our framework, the action model looks slightly different, but luckily we can just transform it so that you can see in the end we get this posterior form into our equ equation. So the nice thing now is we can just plug in any existing well-studied model from action recognition like CNNs or Fisher vector with support vector machines or whatever and just use it there. So the last problem we need to solve is actually that we need to maximize of an enormously huge space because there are very uh, many possible segmentations. So in the end, Luckily, we also can find a solution for this with dynamic programming. It's uh, efficiently solvable in uh, polynomial time. So finally, having a look at some numbers, we can see that adding the length model and the language model to our standard action scorer, we can really improve the results a lot. And we also obtain quite good performance on data sets like Thumos 14 and MPI Cooking, which are like state of the art. And yeah, we are like 3 to 4% better than them. And um, code is available online, and if you have more questions, I would like to see you at our poster. Thanks a lot.